What are the most important things for a custom ROM? Just in case you are on the comment section about to ask which is the best ROM, well no custom ROM or even stock ROM is perfect but all it depends on three things, your preference, stability and performance. At least that's what I think. So today in this video I'm gonna show you the latest Nitrogen OS build for Redmi Note 3, well why not any other custom ROM? I said it in the past and today I am gonna say it again that Nitrogen OS is the most amazing ROM for your Redmi Note 3. Let me explain in today's video again that why I am back on Nitrogen OS. So the most unfixed bug that native video calling is now fixed. And it works super fine here. Let me just give you a demo. I am using Google contacts here. You can use the stock contacts app too. So first you open it up and choose a contact and tap on this video logo beside a contact number and previously as you guys already know it used to force stop the whole UI and didn't simply work but right now as you can see it works perfectly fine and you can even switch to back camera and stuff so native video calling is working 100% alright and of course Volte voice calls work fine here too. Next up, let me show you that banking apps are working super fine here. I have already done the setup for these and yeah, I have checked my balance and stuff which is pretty low but yeah, Taze is working super fine here and in order to get it working, you have to install Magisk Manager first and here is a card propping from top right corner of the screen which will show you how to flash Magisk Manager and once you flash the Magisk Manager 16 and reboot to system, then you need to open the Magisk Manager app, then swipe from the left and go to Magisk Hide. And I have selected these three apps here. The first one is of course Taze itself. Second one is Google Services Framework. And the last one is Google Play Store itself. I am not saying that these are the perfect three things that you need to hide but yeah, it works for me and I hope it works for you too. And regarding the camera, you have to keep in mind one thing only use ARM64 8.1 Micro G apps and that reminds me to tell you the method of flashing. Well, I'll recommend you clean flashing this build because these are based on new trees as the developer says. So just wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data in TWRP and install the ROM and Micro G apps file and magic manager as well if you need that well why exactly i suggested micro g apps because camera and stuff in redmi note 3 doesn't work with other g apps i mean if you flash other g apps files it might break the camera and stuff i don't know what happens but micro g apps work super fine for me so i'll recommend you flashing it now let's talk about day-to-day -day performance and stability here and here I have to say for daily driving, this is the closest to perfect experience as a custom ROM can get you, I have to say. And you won't notice any huge lags or huge app installation times like MIUI because of course it's running Android 8.1 audio. And the experience over here is pretty close to stock Android but with a ton of customizations. 
I'm not gonna show you all of the customizations in this video, again because it's pretty similar to earlier ones. You can just watch any previous Nitrogen OS videos that I did or I'll just link it in the cards. But the good thing over here is, if you don't need customizations, they don't bother you at all. One thing to note here, this haptic feedback vibration in previous builds used to reset to really harsh every time you reboot the phone and that bug too is fixed now. If you have been using Nitrogen OS, you should know what I am talking about. Read mode, face unlock, every damn thing is really working fast and efficiently. So no issues with those. Only thing that I hated here is that while gaming, I mean like heavy gaming, the phone really stutters and lags. I mean yeah, you can play light games, it might run easily like Clash of Clans and stuff. But with PUBG, I faced major lags and full stops that at some point the gaming was simply not playable if there is a little bit of action. So if you are really into heavy gaming, I won't recommend you flashing this ROM but if you are not, this is the one for you. And lastly, if you are curious about the battery life, well I am still testing that. Once I do that, I will post it on Twitter so do follow me there from the descriptions maybe. But yeah, it's nothing to boast about here, I think it's gonna be around max to max 4 hours of screen on time, nothing more than that. So conclusion, this is the one you should definitely go with if you have a Redmi Note 3 and you hate me why, like me. As camera, fingerprint sensor, yes good X and FPC both fingerprint scanner works here. Vaulty voice calling, video calling, data, Wi-Fi, face unlock, banking apps, heck all the things work super fine here. And the stability on day to day usage like opening up apps and browsing through internet, browsing Facebook, Twitter and watching YouTube videos, everything works super fine here. And well, the stability is that good that I am using Redmi Note 3 as my primary device right now, not the Redmi Note 5 Pro. That does it for me for today guys, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked what I said, subscribe if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech and I will catch you next time.